Maintain speed. Aye, sir. Volcanic shocks are only five miles away. They're coming from the underwater entrance to the volcano. How much time do we have left? Less than three hours. I have to get inside that volcano and stop it from erupting. If I don't... A big chunk of the southern hemisphere will blow with it. I don't know if Steve, you can take much more. I think she can take it, Lee. Fire detail! On the double! He's the only one that can give us our course. Kowalski, get Dr. Turner. I'm the devil. He's in the lab. Aye, sir. Dr. Turner, you went in the control room. Dr. Turner, what's wrong? Dr. Turner, why don't you answer me? Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea Starring Richard Basehart David Edison. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Shockwave can finish us. Alex. Now, well, you better you better hold the course. We need Turner to interpret this. I'll maintain course. Uh, yeah. Dr. Turner, are you alright? Control room, this is Kowalski. Dr. Turner's locked in the lab, sir. He's not answering me. I get a torch and cut through. I'll be right there. Aye, aye, sir.
trouble, sailor. Sir, didn't you hear us trying to contact you? No. We're being destroyed by those shockwaves. The Admiral says you've got to plot a new course. Oh. Admiral. Admiral, can you hear me? Tony, are you all right? Oh, everything's fine. I just got some data I needed from the lab. Now, listen. We're one mile from the entrance of the center of the volcano. I better use the flying sub from here. I'll have it ready to launch in five minutes. Good, and please have my damping device put on board, will you? It's the gold cylinder in the lab marked primary. I'll see to it. With any luck, I should have two hours to stop that volcano from blowing off its head. Chief. Hmm? You think this Dr. Turner knows his business? Look, kid, do you think the Pentagon would send somebody who didn't? He's got to be the world's greatest expert. I don't know. He's a strange guy. <laughs> Keeping a volcano from blowing up, that's a pretty big order. Well, not only blow it, but the way I heard it, if this one goes, half the world winds up in ashes. Oh, boy, you sure know how to build a guy's confidence. Then I suppose this gizmo is going to stop the eruption. Well, sure, sure. Well, come on, keep working. Doctor, how long have you been testing this uh, heat refractor? Over 10 years now. The molecular change we're undergoing should enable us to withstand any foreseeable temperature. Mm -hmm. Some of the secure sir. Well, thanks, Chief. You got the charts? Uh, yes, sir. Now, according to this, you can sail right into the cone of that volcano. Now, all of this is based on Dr. Turner's data. Not data is eminently correct. I've been charting this particular volcano for years. We can get inside the volcano, damp it, and be back here before you know it. Just do it in an hour and three quarters. That's eruption time. Shall we go, Adam? Right, let's go. Flying sub ready for launch. Ready for launch. Launch. Aye, sir. up to the wall of the volcano. There. That's the underwater entrance. You still have an hour and 30 minutes. up into this underwater chamber, just as dry as a bone. Tricks nature plays with water pressure, fantastic. Inside the volcano is outer cavern. All right, let's get ready. Flying sub to Seagull. Flying sub to Seagull. We read you loud and clear, Admiral. What's your position? We're in a dry cavern inside the volcano. I'm beaching the flying sub stern first for a fast getaway. Uh, tell me, can you uh, get into the core of the volcano as you'd planned? We'd better. I'll try to keep in touch. Out. Well, let's get the damping device ashore, Doctor. Hi, right, Admiral. Right away. Now, what is 
that. One of my devices. I call him Adam. Look, we're not here to play games, Mr. Turner. You're supposed to have a damping device in there, not a robot or whatever he is. No robot. Adam was a human being until I rearranged his molecular structure about a century ago. He is indestructible and all-powerful. Are you trying to tell me that this uh, man is a hundred years old? He is. All right, uh, uh, granted what you say, how are you going to use your indestructible man to stop the volcano? I'm not going to use him to stop it. I intend to use him to start it. Adam, bring out the explosives. All right, Nelson, stop Nelson, him. Nelson, this is Nelson, this is you. Emergency. Emergency. Admiral, this is Lee. What's wrong there? What's wrong? Admiral, do you hear me? What's wrong there? I'm going to help you, Nelson. There's nothing you can do against the power of alchemy. Alchemy? Yes. You know what alchemy is, Nelson? The ability to change one element into another. Well, what has that to do with you? I discovered how to change the molecular structure of matter. What, uh, what do you really want from this volcano, Doctor? You simply amaze me, Nelson. You, you really do. Aren't you the slightest bit surprised at the fact that I... I'm an alchemist. Oh, why should I be? I'm not interested in your abilities. I'm interested in that volcano. But the two can't be separated. There were certain elements I needed for my process. I've been mining this volcano for those elements, my elixir stones, for over five centuries. Oh. And uh, they have enabled you to stay alive that long? Um, and helped you to create him. Yes. But now my supply is gone, and that's why I need these to bring on a partial eruption and bring up more of my elixir stones. But there's no such thing as a partial eruption. If it starts, you'll, you'll kill millions of people. Unfortunately, that is true. And unfortunately, there is no one who can prevent me. Destroy communications. Mobilize the flying sub. Yeah. That ought to keep the Admiral here till we get back. Let's check out okay. The trouble must be in the flying sub. Uh, we can't wait any longer. I'll have to send out a team of divers. Well, that's pretty dangerous. If they get caught in the middle of an eruption, they wouldn't stand a chance. Well, sure it's dangerous. But do you have a better idea? Move in closer with the sea view. We could, but I can't risk it. You're right. I'll uh, round up a team of divers. Mm. Calling Admiral Nelson. Come in, Admiral. Come in.
Put that canister down, Turner. I didn't come this far to stop now. I'm going to get the stones and get out before the eruption. Adam! Stop him, Turner. I'll blow him to bits. You have my permission to try. And the electro stones will be brought to the surface by the explosion. Five seconds, just in case. Oh, man, if anybody wants to know how a hard-boiled egg feels, I got it made. <laughs> Cut the power. Now, uh, Mr. Morton, will this machine really keep us from burning up in the heat? Dr. Turner claims it'll make heat run off the body like water off oil. Is that a fact? A theory. I really don't know, boss. It's like that parachute game, Ski. If it don't work the first time, drop in and we'll give you a new one. Diving party report. Control's about ready, sir. Uh, any word from the Admiral? Nothing. Send out the team. Aye, aye, sir. You're on your way.
Are you all right in there? We're okay, sir. The water cushioned the shock. Just send us out. Lucky they weren't outside the sub when that blast hit us. Hmm, that'd be... Control room calling, Mr. Morton. Urgent. Control room calling. This is Morton. Go ahead. The captain's been hurt, sir. Is it serious? I don't know. He's unconscious. Get him to sick bay. I'm on my way. Aye, sir. How bad is it? I'm not sure, sir. Looks like he's got a very serious concussion. Where's the doc? He had an emergency call from engineering. I want a full report from them as soon as possible. Yes, sir. I'll see if I can relieve him. Sparks. Aye, sir. Contact the diving party. Have them tell the Admiral that Captain Crane has been injured. Seriously injured. Aye, sir. over there. Now remember they glow, but they're cold to the touch. powerful enough to bring up the stones. We need something even stronger. Perhaps uh, something will deceive you. shockwave hit him. He couldn't operate the flying sub. And then he tried to communicate with you. Then another shockwave hit us. What is it, Doc? What happened? I was knocked out. When I came to, the Admiral was gone. He must be lost somewhere back in that volcano. Lost? The Admiral wouldn't take off just like that in a volcano. What about that explosion? What was that all about? That was my damping device. I threw it in the very core of the, of the, of the volcano. It wouldn't work. Oh, man, there's something going on around here, and I'm going to find out what it is. The Admiral's gone, and now you tell us that the volcano is still going to blow? I told you all I know about the Admiral. As for the volcano, I'll need a stronger device. I'll have to go back to see you to get it. All right. This is the way we're going to do it. There are scuba gear and heat suits in the flying sub. Kowalski will swim back with Dr. Turner to see you and get him the explosives he needs. Right. Now, what about me and Brent? Get out of the wetsuits and find the Admiral. Right. Okay. Let's go. <laughs>
zero. All right, put him down. Now look, I don't know what you are or where you're from, but I'm going to put a bullet right through your head. Now put him down. Ski didn't penetrate. Then we need impact. Fired his head. Point is, we have to find some way to stop Turner and the volcano. You think there's a way we can do it, sir? I think we might be able to. Ordinarily, this kind of an operation would be a job for Captain Crane, but uh, we just have to carry on without him. Uh, rig the laser gun to make it portable, and slant drill down just at the edge of the lava pit, right into the throat of the volcano. Right, sir. And then? Then I'm going to place a nuclear implosion charge in the drill hole might be able to blow the volcano inward and uh, plug it up. And uh, Ed, take, uh, take some stun guns with you, just in case that golden boy of Turner's tries to stop them. And what about that Dr. Turner, sir? Take care of that once I get back aboard Seaview to prepare the implosion device. I only hope, hope we have time to do that. My first device miscarried, Mr. Morton. So I'll have to adjust this one. And I'll I'll need your help. Now, would you hold these, please? Of course, Doctor. Thank you. Placement section number five for our atomic reactor. Four 12-inch graphite rods, an L-type timer, and a plutonium trigger charge. And enough wire to put them all together. Aye, sir. I have them in the reactor room in five minutes. Aye, sir. That isn't where is Dr. Turner? In the lab, sir. Right, get me out of the steps as fast as you can. You're a little too late, Nelson. Chip. Hagen. Don't tell this to him, Chip. I, no matter what they've done to you, I'm sure... Bring him here. Chip! Ah. Go to the missile room. Bring me the center charge from an A-12 warhead. Just the center charge. Don't try to resist, Nelson. Now the 30 seconds, you won't feel anything. Except what I want you to feel. Commander Morton is on his way to the missile room to get a warhead. Stop him. Stop, Mr. Morton, sir. Repeat, stop Mr. Morton. Put him in the brig. Aye, sir. And send a security detail to the lab on the double. Aye, sir. This 
not much time before the volcano goes. That's a true statement. Well, if you know any way to stop it, you better come up with it before we all die. Before you all die. Don't you forget that I'm immortal. No, only if you get the elixir stones. And you need a controlled explosion, not an eruption that'll blow us all to bits. No. That won't work, Nelson. I've got to take a chance that my transmuted body will withstand that eruption. Take him away. Maximum security. You're a remarkable, resourceful man, Admiral. We could have accomplished fantastic things together. If you just allowed me to give you immortality, too. Well, the only fantastic thing I'm going to accomplish is to stop that volcano from erupting. It's impossible. We'll see about that. Throw him in the brake. Admiral, this is Sharkey. Yes, what is it, Chief? I've got everything you want, sir, in the reactor room. I'll be right there. Room. All right, now we gotta get close to the lava pit. And it's gonna be rugged. We'll make it, Ski. Unless that go man is still in here trying to stop us. Nothing's gonna stop us.
Professor Rome, this is Nelson. What's your situation? Miss Arun, this is Nelson. Come in. Here's the diagram. Follow it, finish it, and meet me in the escape hatch. Aye, sir. Mr. Morton and Turner. With the explosive? Yes, sir. Yeah. Nelson, the reactor room. Mr. Sharkey, Admiral. On the double with that nuclear device. Almost finished, sir. Brent, you know, I've been thinking. Now, we're planning on blasting the tunnel entrance to get in and then knocking out that gold man, right? Yeah, so what's wrong with that? There won't be enough power left in the laser. We'll have to take the flying sub down and get in through a lower entrance. You mean you want to go down through the bottom of the lava pit? Right. Now, we'll drill the hole for the Admiral from the bottom up. First thing, I'd like to take another whack of that golden thing out there. I know, I know, but we haven't got the time or the power. Hey, what's this? Phase X2 connector, it's gone. Maybe I can jump the cable. I right, try it. Commander Morton. What's happening to you? I'm running out of time, sailor. I've got to explode this charge and bring up the electrostones before the final eruption. Frank, you've killed him. I flipped the switch to the low voltage key. I just knocked them out. All right, secure Mr. Morton. And keep an eye on Dr. Turner. Now, we're going below to drill that hole for the Admiral's nuclear charge. Smother the eruption. There, there's the opening to the lava pit. Come you can have anything you want, even immortality. Now a chance to get the elixir stone. Now the volcano is ready. <laughs> taken the flying sub. He, he's got shipped completely under his control. Yes, but uh, where are our men? They might be in there. Under the surface. 
heat outside. Must be over a thousand degrees. Ski the heat suits. They're breaking down. I guess they'll handle only a certain amount of heat. I'll die. Without the electric storm, I'll die. I'll die. Shocks are coming every minute now. How long have we got? Oh, maybe, maybe 10 minutes. Admiral. Huh? Suppose they didn't burn the hole for you to put the charge down. Well, then we'll sink it right into the pit. How much time have we got after you put that gizmo in? As long as it takes to reach the plug of the volcano. Then she blows? It, it implodes downward. Will we be able to get out of here? Well, we better be, because this place is going to be exactly like the inside of an exploding H-bomb. Himself again. I think you can untie him. I sir. How long do you think it'll take us to get out? About 45 seconds, sir. Well, that gives us just about 15 seconds before the nuclear bomb implodes.
That's the end of our volcano threat, Lee. It's the end of other things, too. Dr. Turner, alchemy. You know, I still can't believe what you told me about him. Yeah, I guess it was true enough, Lee. But now we'll never know what his secrets were. Here's one fellow who knows all he wants to know about Dr. Turner and his alchemy. Hey, Chip, what did the doctor say? Well, he doesn't, didn't know what the fuss was about. Huh? It was normal as ever. Oh, great. Well, Admiral, what now? Well, you've got a clean bill of health too, Captain, so uh, I'll leave it up to you. As long as the course you said heads us straight for home. Down scope. Thank you.